16 millimeter uh, wrench. I don't know the, the standard equivalent for it. I'm doing the reverse because I actually had the other seat on. So I had to go back, take that seat off, put this one back on, and now I'm gonna show how to get the original seat off and put the new seat on. And remember, I don't know the names of any of the, the parts on the seat other than the saddle. I don't know any of these inner working parts. So I'm just gonna describe them the best I can and we'll go from there. So grab this little screw, screw it out so we can take this whole seat off. We don't want to sit here with this, although we could do it. It's whatever's easiest for you. Usually I just take this off and go sit down and do it at a table or something. So unscrew that, pull that out, and we go from there. And next, we got the new seat, how it comes in the box with well, whatever this is called. Again, I don't know the name for the the inner parts of the seat but i'm just gonna put this to the side while we get the old peloton seat off so take that we got the screw on this side and screw on that side and that's how we're gonna get the seat off so let's get this in here loosen these screws they're pre-loosened because i didn't tighten it up all the way because i'm just showing how to get it off so Loosen this screw. Loosen this screw on the other side. I thought it looks pretty loose already. Get that. And you should be able to wiggle this off the pole by now. So get them loose enough where you can get it off the pole so you don't need this, this, the big, um, the other seat pole, the one that extends from the actual bike. So. We take that off, wiggle it off, bam. So now we got a Peloton seat and then we got the new seat. So what we wanna do is take everything from the old seat, put it on the new seat. So I'm gonna loosen this all the way. Let's get all the inner work in the guts out the seat. And this middle part is usually pretty tight from it being being uh, compressed inside of these two slanted poles. So I can wiggle this out, but I believe last time when I first took it off, I used uh, the wrench to pop it out. I got a bigger wrench or even a, a hammer, a small hammer that you could fit in there and just pop the middle part out. All right, so I've got two of these for the inside of the seat two of these for the outside and one that's still on the screw and I'm gonna leave that one there so I know which side to start with. So, leave that there, put the old seat to the side. Well, actually, we don't, we don't need this anymore. Just put that to the side. Now we got the new seat. Let's get these guts out. Same, the same 13 millimeter wrench, so. Just get the, the screws off the old seat, loosen them up. Let's get this out. One screw off, put the old stuff to the side. Main screw, and this one just fell out because it's, I guess, the, the two poles, there's more space in there. And now, uh, so I won't confuse things. I'm getting all the old stuff and I put it back on the old seat just in case I ever had to switch back. But really, uh-oh, I, I mixed something up. This is the Peloton. All right, out with the old seat in with the new. So what we gotta do now is use the parts from the inside of the old uh, Peloton seat, the one that came with the Peloton and put those innards inside of the new comfy seat with all this cushion back here for, for that bottom. And now we have the main centerpiece from the old seats that holds the, the pole in there. I'll pull this up. And this is the old seat with the 
the little bar and what we want is eventually for this piece to be facing with the the ridge is facing up on this so it's so that your this piece fits on the seat pole just like that which your and if your your seat was facing up it'd be that way so let's get to it so what we want to do is grab the the ridge pieces to mash up with the ridges from the pole holder. <laughs> I guess we could call it that. I don't have a better name for it. So um, two ridge pieces. And remember, we want this to face the back of the seat so that when we turn it around, it'll be facing forward. And it's hard to get this in facing this way. So I usually put it in facing uh, upside down. So this little point faces you and the back of the seat. And then once we get it on, before we tighten it, we just turn it around so it fits on the pole. So I'll go ahead and add one side, put that on there. And I try to get to like the, the front of the seat is a little more open so you can work with it a little better. And a lot of times you're gonna have to, to lightly tap these metal pieces with your wrench. And it just, it's not a lot of weight with this little 13 millimeter wrench, so. If, if you need something heavier, grab it. So we get the two in there and we just force it in. And it holds just like that. All right, now we grab the screw with the little, I don't know what this is, but it meets up with the, the other side of the ridge and the pole goes in the middle of that. I don't know if you can see it. So one half of the ridge is on that side and yet this is, this, butts up against it right there so I don't well, fucking it's the best way to show that and it's the side that's on the pole so we slide this through and a lot of times I got lucky this time a lot of times these don't line up so you may have to tap the little middle piece down probably have to do it for the other side but I got lucky so slide that through and square on the inside and oh got really lucky this time so everything fits in so I only have the nut and this little piece to add in. So, and the nut is right there. So go ahead and put that on. And let's see what's the yeah, that side. And get that on. And now it's just tight enough where didn't, it's only hand tightening, not even all the way, but it's enough leeway where I can turn this around so that pole can fit in there. So I'll do that now before I tighten anything up. All right, you hear the ridges against the ridges clicking. Try to keep track of the nut to make sure it don't come off because sometimes it's a little harder to put it on. You may have to start back from zero, but move that around. And this is how we want it. The side with the point facing forward, the pole goes into there. And I don't want to tighten it up just yet. I want to get it on the pole and make sure it's the correct position before I start just really tightening it up. So let's grab this big long piece. And again, last time, I grabbed the Allen wrench and I loosened these two screws and I took this pole out. It's a lot easier to work with this little piece and just put it back in and tighten the screws back. This time I didn't do it. I didn't feel like the extra step. So we have the pole here and we're sticking out right here. And we have our new seat with all our old attachments on the inside. So slide that. And I have a little trouble getting that all the way down. Might have to hit it, but there we go. I have to move the seat a little bit. I have to wiggle the seat a little bit to get it on there. But as you can see, 
It's on the pole right here. I don't know how to get a better angle of that. I guess. Right there, where you can see the pole is in there. I try to get it all the way down. All right, you may have to tighten this up enough just so it don't move so much and it won't come off. And then get your final adjustments once you put this back on the bike. So I'll tighten a little bit. That's enough. Still got a little movement on it, but I don't think it'll come off. Uh, maybe a couple more. A couple more there. There. And now, again, that's enough where you might want to hit it a little, little bit. If you want the, the nose of the seat down a little bit or up, pull it up. But don't tighten it yet until you get it on the bike. And we'll go to the bike next. Get the whole thing back on. All right. Let's go ahead and get this pole with the seat attachment back on the bike. Get that in the slot. <laughs> Make sure that is out and work it in. There we go. Uh, I like mine facing pretty straight. So I'll go ahead and get this tight. Final adjustments here. Get tight already and tighten both sides too. So, usually give a little there. And a final few is on the side that's facing me. Doesn't move. Let's give it a few more. A few more. Bam! Good as new. Good as new. And I guess that's, that's it. And adjust to your liking. Just the height here, the forward and back here. Thanks for watching.